One night I'm putting my makeup on, one more show. The phone rings and my assistant answers for me, there's no one. I said, it's probably Rene, but you can't hear him, just, just hang him. It rings again, I picked the phone, I said, hello? And we, I could hear him because I, I, I was expecting him. No one calls me in my dressing room but my husband. And he never did. Maybe twice, three times, he was always at the show. So the phone rings and he said, I just want to wish you a great show and to tell you that I love you. I said, I love you very much too. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to go and have a meet and greet and go to the show and I'll see you later. He said, okay. And then when I came home, that night after the show, I had fittings to do and more stuff to do. And he was getting um, fed by, excuse me, being fed um, around nine o'clock every night by my sister, who's the, my, the second mother of my children. So she put them in bed with a movie. She went to feed him. And um, she said, oh, are you okay? All good? He's, and he says, and he said, I love you. And she turned around and she started to cry and, and she knew that that was it. And I came home so late and he was under medicine. I didn't want to go in the room and say, honey, I'm home. And then he would be confused with the medicine, can't go back to bed. So I didn't see him that night. But there was a reason. You have to make your soul. And you have, you have to find yourself a reason. Why didn't I go? I should have. You cannot. You, because you will always live with regrets. And you can't. It's not me. I can't. The reason why I did not go is because I wanted the best for him. I didn't want him to be confused like with the medicine. It was strong stuff. And then um, the next morning, the first feed was done by a nurse and she came and um, he was down. He was gone to his new life.